simulation of flow over a cylinder at very low Reynolds numbers. A CFD tutorial prepared as a voluntary exercise to spend some valuable time during the COVID-19 outbreak. This is your instructor June 8th cert. I hope you are in good health. I thought that playing with CFD a bit might be a good break from all these coronavirus news. I am sorry for this robotic voice, but recording this video with my own voice and then editing it and correcting the mistakes was much harder than converting text to speech. CFD stands for Computational Fluid Dynamics. It is about simulating fluid flow problems using computers and numerical techniques. In our undergraduate fluid mechanics courses, 305 and 306, we do not teach any CFD. But we do have a technical elective course, 485. If you visit the website of 485, you can find an introductory chapter about CFD. It is a long chapter about many fundamental CFD concepts. After watching this tutorial you can have a look at it if you want. Just keep it in mind. Here is Munson's Fluid Mechanics book. If you remember, we were studying the flow over immersed bodies chapter. Estimating the drag and lift forces is an important part of it. Total drag force is a combination of viscous and pressure parts. They depend on many factors, such as the shape of the body and the Reynolds number. We can distinguish between streamlined and blunt bodies. Cylinders and spheres are classical examples of blunt bodies. And in this tutorial we will simulate the flow over a cylinder at very low Reynolds numbers. The figure on the left shows the variation of the drag coefficient of a smooth sphere and a cylinder with the Reynolds number. The dashed line is for the cylinder. Five different points are labeled on it as A, B, C, D, and E. The corresponding flow patterns are shown on the right. Point A has a very low Reynolds number, about 0.2. The flow for this point has no separation. It is like potential flow. This is the one we will simulate in this tutorial. As the Reynolds number increases, first a steady separation bubble forms at the back of the cylinder. Then the famous Carmen vortex street, with counter-rotating vortices form in the wake. Then the wake region becomes turbulent. And finally the boundary layer in the front of the cylinder also turns into turbulent, causing drag crisis, the sudden drop of drag force. Drag crisis occurs at about Reynolds number half a million.